for anybody who's a content producer in 2022, there are enormous opportunities available right now. Um, obviously, you're looking at a market where this market has been driven by pay television for the last maybe 20 years, principally led by multi-choice and then star times and the rest. But when it comes to content, I think everybody would agree Africa Magic is way ahead of everybody else in terms of commissioning content. But obviously one of the things we're seeing is with the advent of the streamers, Netflix obviously, Amazon is coming, and I think HBO and Disney are also gonna be here before the year is out, then that's a secondary window opportunity. But even before we talk about them, you also gotta talk about YouTube, which is by far the biggest platform in Africa. And on YouTube, you are seeing millions of African creators putting out their movies, their docus, their specials, but of course monetization on YouTube is different from how you go through the commission process of studios and broadcasters. But I think the most important thing and the biggest opportunity for everybody is going to be in the free-to-air broadcast space. You know, there's a reform process ongoing right now with audience measurement. I'm privileged to chair the, something called the NCPB board, which is like a Nigerian content production board. And we're trying to push an agenda, not even trying to, we are pushing an agenda to create a situation where Nigerian terrestrial broadcasters can create a commissioning window and platforms. Because if you think about our broadcast situation in Nigeria, nobody sitting in this room or anywhere else can talk about what are the biggest TV programs on Nigerian television. We could talk about pay TV, but we don't talk about terrestrial, and terrestrial is still by far the biggest.